Once again, NCBA is offering regional stockmanship and stewardship events across the country that provide hands-on training to improve cattle care. These clinics are led by a great team of experts, and this year, Dean Fish, manager for the Santa Fe Ranch in Arizona, has been added to the lineup. Kate Maher had a chance to talk with Dean about his passion for educating cattle producers. Thanks, Kevin. Uh, we have the fortunate opportunity today to talk to one of the true industry leaders uh, in cattle handling and facilities design, Dean Fish. Um, Dean, you put on a lot of demonstrations across the country every year. What are some of the key topics that you want producers to take away from these demonstrations in terms of, of cattle handling? Well, thank you, Cade. We focus on low stress cattle handling and, and more importantly, effective stockmanship. You know, now in the beef industry and cattle industry in particular, we're asked to invest a lot in our cattle and our genetics and our vaccines. But stockmanship is truly the one thing that doesn't cost anything to improve but will benefit and return to that producer multi times what they invest into it. So, so we re truly believe in that message. We truly believe in the partnership that Beef Quality Assurance has with Merck and the stockmanship and stewardship program. They put on a really, really nice show every year at the, at the annual cattle industry conference. In addition to that, you reference a tour. We go out throughout the country and bring that to people's backyards so they can learn some of these low stress um, handling principles and, and learn about stockmanship. And I think today, now more than ever, with the beef industry um, kind of under the consumer scrutiny that it is, animal welfare is a top concern for a lot of consumers out there. But you made a point, the good news is it probably doesn't take a lot to, to, to tweak um, somebody's cattle handling practices or even some of their facilities, maybe. Absolutely. And, you know, I really try to think about it. I'm not really in the cow-calf business. I, I raise cow-calves, but I'm truly in the beef business. People want to know where that food comes from, how that animal is raised. And as part of my obligation, my duty is just to make sure that I'm doing that in the best way possible. And I think producers need to have that in the back of their mind. So whether they have a nice bud box, whether they have a sweep, a tub, uh, an old narrow V crowd, there's different ways to be effective in how they handle those cattle that would be acceptable to the public, but also allow them to be effective in how they work with their animals. What would maybe one point of advice be that you could give somebody um, on how to one thing that they could change to handle, handle their cattle a little bit better. One of the things that was key for me to learn is to know when to apply pressure, but know when to release that pressure. So that release is so important. That's the reward that that cow or that horse get for doing a good job. And so the proper application of that pressure, but also the proper release of that pressure is, is key. If you go to a Ron Gill or a Kurt Pate session, they'll talk about different types of pressure. We can put a driving pressure, and that's usually our presence in that flight zone where that cow will want to move away um, and again it's usually our presence we're trying to use minimal or no noise we're trying to use minimal or, or no flags and, and certainly not um, hot shots and so forth um, but the calmer we are and the better that we're able to apply that pressure with our presence um, the better job that we'll do and again understanding how we relieve that pressure is, is also the second key part of that and you know we are all in the beef business whether you have 10 head of cattle or 10,000 head of cattle everybody's situation's a little bit different. In terms of cattle um, handling facilities and facility designs, what's some things that producers can do that maybe aren't necessarily high cost that can improve some of their, their facilities? Right. There's some there's some really neat things. Um, and most important is, is thinking about where do cows hang up in your facility. And so finding out why that is. Maybe it's a shadow. Maybe it's um, a distraction that they're having. Um, maybe you're pushing too hard or, or, or whatever it is. And try to figure out those little things that can make a difference in the way cattle flow. So find out where those little log jams are and then try to correct those. There's some great resources on the Beef Quality Assurance website. There's a wealth of knowledge and, and resources out there. Free of cost for producers to go and look and try to make those little tweaks that'll make it go a little smoother for them. Excellent. Thanks, Dean, for your time today. Thanks for the expertise that you bring to this industry as well. Thank you, Kate. As Dean mentioned, a lot of online resources and there's some stockmanship and stewardship events coming probably to your part of the country. So be sure to check out our website, stockmanshipandstewardship.org for those.